So as a casual fan of mini groups, yes, I'm a multi fandom. Oh my god. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I do wonder if FX will ever come back as a group. And if they do have a comeback, will their fans be there to support them? Will there be any fans to support them? Obviously, there will be a few, but will it be successful is what I'm trying to say. Um, I remember a time when so, so many fans would drop their main group to support FX's comeback. Well, there was a time like that. Like, fans from other fandoms would temporarily stop supporting their group and promote FX during their comebacks. Just not sure if this was like a coincidence or like an intentional effort to support a very great group. However, this effort didn't really help the group out much after Sully left the group. And after that, I think FX came back with Four Walls album and a single called All Mine, and that was basically it. But once Red Velvet debuted, they basically took FX's place with songs that could have rightfully been for FX. I mean, have you seen Red Velvet songs and FX songs? They're kind of, kind of a similar concept, you know? But I'm not comparing these two groups. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do here. Both groups have their own uniqueness, but both groups also have similar concept styles. <laughs> and it seems they would clash if both of them were to come back in the same year. And since Red Velvet has like 10 comebacks a year, it kind of makes it difficult to time a comeback for FX. But if you think deeper, though, let's take, for example, the, th the big three. The big three companies, SM, YG, JYP, they seem to be having a hard time with girl groups. In SM, both SNSD and FX members are working on individual activities, while Red Velvet promotes as a group. In JYP and YG, they only have one girl group promoting for the past few years. But these companies have so many boy groups. Maybe it kind of gives us an indication of how hard it must be to support a girl group. I mean, we've seen so many of the second generation girl groups disband, but so many second generation boy groups survive. They've survived for this long. I think the only difference with JYP is that they have a whole separate department literally dedicated just for twice. It's dedicated just to twice, which is why twice has so many comebacks and they do so many activities within the year because they, the whole company isn't responsible for twice. It's just that one department. And that's such a good idea to come out of a company. And I'm guessing that's what he's prepared for his new rookie group, Etsy. He could have a separate department for them too. I'm not sure, but it would be a good idea. In this way, they can be more efficient with group activities, promotion, and etc. And I'm not sure if SM or YG have this kind of system where a department only focuses on one group, or at least we don't know if they'd have this kind of system. And that's probably why these agencies can't have multiple girl groups come back every year. It's probably just way too hard. Also, Luna recently said that FX hasn't disbanded. So this makes me think that with a small slither of hope, we may get a comeback from them in, in the future. I don't know. What do you guys think of this? Like, we've been waiting for so long that you would think that we would get something, you know, from them. But it's been a while. Let me know in the comments below.